Hey, we've had scrolls flown in like crazy lately, so it's time for another scroll rolling video. I go into the honor summons here. We've got enough for 25, it looks like. And let's get started. I think I will have maxed out characters from honor summons before any other version. We bring in a lot of these scrolls. And we're pulling a lot of a lot of hero tokens here. Keep these going. Got a lot of lag on this right now. I think we missed one actually. All right, nice. Trying to get some of the characters out of the way. I didn't realize this until relatively recently. Uh, I think I've shared it before in videos though. Once you five star a character, you'll no longer get tokens for that character in any of these summons, which is very encouraging because that tells you once you get those up there, um, all your remaining tokens will go for your remaining characters and it will help speed up the process. So if there's someone you've been trying for for a long time and you're getting really frustrated because you're not getting anything for them, don't worry about it too much. Uh, eventually, over a long period of time, you'll get everything you need. Nice. So this is a spirit evo. I'm trying to get... Uh, Yokozuna is probably next for me even though I really like Echo. Um, be getting him up there. So yeah, if you're, if you're worried about it and you just haven't been getting anyone, eventually over a long period of time, you will get all of them to 5 star, and all the other ones, you'll start getting lots of tokens for them. Nice. Trying to get Nub Nub up to that 5 star level too. Let's see who we get here. Another silver chest. Of the different summons groups, and that was for Ignis, I'm trying to get Ignis finished off as well. My last heroic rolling video, I got a lot for Ignis the Mad, and it really wasn't what I was looking for. But the only good news is that Ignis is also in the honor summons, so as soon as I get him up to that next level, to the 5 star, I won't be getting any more tokens for him in the heroic summons, which would be great. Okay, Femus up to the next star level now. It is nice to work on some of these characters that I don't spend too much time on. I haven't been able to... You can only get a certain number up to the level cap. So it's nice to be getting all of these hero tokens in. It looks like Mangle Jaw is also ready to go to the next... to the four-star level. See, so yeah, if I'm not actually farming for them, they would normally stay fairly low, but this is a good way that it starts bringing up all of the characters, even the ones I don't farm for, up to moderate levels. Uh, for their star level. Nice, get some more fur and black on. Let's see. We've got about 15. Does that one, that one look like it took a double? I don't know if I just double click on that, I'm getting a little bit of lag on this. Alright, some more for Theron though, and a Celestial Evo. Nice, I think. I'm not sure which that one is. We can go and check it out afterwards though. Trying to get Lady Nimrod's first ascension. She's only got one celestial that she needs, but I have a terrible time trying to get it. Awesome. Let's see where that puts him. Five more, so that means I can farm him and get him up to that five star level. He's already fully ascended, and now at the five star level, he's going to have a ton of health and healing. Already one of my favorite characters. Especially for campaign, I do bring him in to PvP on the attacking side periodically. Nice. A token I can get for Ignis here is a token I don't have to waste on the heroic portal. Ignis can have a lot of power. He's just a little too squishy for me in terms of PvP. Another silver chest. Some more for King York, that's good. I do like how quickly you can get scrolls, and it's especially nice. Some games, and this one falls into that, the higher level you are, the faster you get some of these in-game rewards, and that really helps out so that now I'm level 59, I am bringing in scrolls like crazy. Like 3,000 a day uh, is somewhere on the order of what I can bring in, and that just adds up really, really quickly. That's about the max. I don't usually get quite up to that level but it's probably not that uncommon. My average is probably somewhere around 2,500. Let's see a gold chest here. And another celestial, nice. This, I 
think is Cape Born. Yeah, that must be Cape Born. So that's another one that's sometimes hard to get a hold of. Very glad to get that one. And looks like we got... I didn't see which character that was. If that was... I think that was Manglejaw back there as well. A few more tokens for him. Yeah, it feels like a freebie. Like, you don't have to really work that hard for the scrolls. They're always flowing in. And just use those heroes. It feels like the more you use your friend's heroes as well, uh, the more they're reminded to use yours. Nice. So Dagron's almost at that 5-star level as well. If anyone's been following this channel for a while, you'll know he was part of my uh, one of my favorite teams that I used against the Lich Lord. It's got that really powerful synergy to increase energy along with Echo, but very happy to be getting him to this level. Again, one of the big draws for me to get any of these characters to 5 level, to 5 star, is that it's just going to narrow down and really pump up the tokens for other characters. We'll take a review after I finish off these four. Samurai Takumi, nice. He's got to be getting pretty close as well. But he's definitely, he's already at the four star, so it looks like we're still working him up within that four star level. Chief Nub Nub is one that I farm for and have gotten a lot in the summons here. Let's see what we get here. Okay, just another silver chest. Some more for Dagrund. And it's nice getting him to this level. I believe this is the only way you can get tokens for him. And he's still almost at that 5 star level. And Squinch. Feels like I'm always getting 10 or 15 tokens for Squinch each time I come in here. Just working him up so now he's almost at the 4 star level. Again, without having to really farm for him at all, it's really nice to get that, get those up there. And we'll finish with... Silver Chest. Alright, but that's good. We get uh, Jabber up to the three-star level. So a lot of tokens in this one. Again, very pleased with how quickly I'm able to bring in scrolls at this level now. Let's go out and check a little bit of this out. Close out of that. Go in and check on Nub Nub. So yeah, we're just five away. We'll check in here. We can definitely get those five right here, so I'll have him up to a five star. And then Dagron is very close. There he is. Getting very close to that five star level as well. I haven't been using him as much lately. You can still use him a fair amount on um, on campaign mode. Doesn't have quite enough force, it seems like, quite enough threat to prevent or to provide for PvP as of yet. Maybe after I get him fully ascended, there'll be special circumstances I can bring him in on that. I also wanted to look at back in Honor Summons, look at the hero drops. So this is what I'm talking about. Chief Nub Nub here, almost five star. So by the end of the day, he'll be out of the running for any new tokens. And then Ignis the Mad is getting very close to being five star. Black Diamond is already five star. Dagron's getting very close. Pontifex is already five star. Theron's four star. Looks like Jabber just hit three star. But so all the rest of these, you know, I'm gonna very soon I'll have five characters out of this group that are completely five star and all the rest of my tokens will be going into other characters. That'll be nice. Again, especially looking at uh, getting Ignis up so I get him out of the heroic pool. We'll go over to heroic real quick. It was kind of a frustrating time last time I was trying to get uh, Archangel Emily and Overlord Executum during their special event and I didn't get anything for them, which was a frustrating mess, but uh, it's nice I'll get Ignis out of there. And Alexandros, you can also get tokens for in the Great Summons. Once I get to level 61, I'll have a lot of extra gold, and hopefully I can start running a lot of a lot of those and get him out of there as well. So it'll be nice just to narrow this group down as you continue to level up, so that I'm primarily just you know closing up all these extra characters that I need those hero tokens for that you can only get out of heroic. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.